Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video from the WebDev Cave channel. Today we are going to talk about web pages, websites, dynamic and static, and web applications. A lot of people confuse these concepts and use them interchangeably, but in fact, they are totally different from each other. Let's start by defining these words. What is a web page? A web page is a single document that is written using hypertext markup language and it's accessible via the web through the internet using a web browser. I recommend watching my video about the web and the internet if you are not familiar with the two concepts. You may ask then, what is hypertext? What I mean by a hypertext is a text that contains hyperlinks that lead to other documents, usually other web pages. A hyperlink simply is a text, word, sentence, button, icon, sometimes even a picture. When you click or hover on it, you will be directed to another web page. We can access the web page by referring to it using a URL, uniform resource locator address, using a web browser. This is how a typical URL looks like. The web page may contain text, graphics, hyperlinks to other files. A website, however, is a group of interlinked, well-structured web pages that exist on the same domain, that is to say, grouped together in one place. When I say group of interlinked web pages, this picture may cross your mind. And it is correct. However, they are not just grouped and interlinked, they are well structured as well. This is a very simple structured website. In fact, this is just for the illustration. And we can shift from page to page using hyperlinks. Now, don't confuse between a group of web pages and a website. A group of web pages are not structured, not necessarily interlinked and grouped in one place. We can distinguish between two types of websites. Static and dynamic. Static websites are websites that contains only static web pages. For example, our website is a static one and all its web pages are static. Well, what is a static web page then? A static web page is a document that every time it is requested, it displays on the browser exactly as it is stored in the server, the place where the document physically exists. It doesn't change at all, unless if the creator changes it manually. The URL address of a static web page must end with a document document extension such as .html or .php. If it doesn't, then it is not a static web page. This is a simple diagram that shows how the process of getting a web page displayed in the browser goes. Now, let's say a story here. Here in the left is the end user and in the right, the server. And then the internet in between that allows the user to access the resources that exist on the server, right? First, the user type in the URL address of the web page he wants and press enter. The web browser then sends a HTTP request to the server. We have a dedicated video to the HTTP protocol and how the web works, so don't panic. When the server receives the request, it processes it and fetch the page that the user asked for. When it finds it, it sends it back to the web browser that is opened by the end user. So this is a kind of simple explanation of the request response process. Dynamic websites, on the other hand, contains dynamic web pages, namely web pages that are generated using scripting languages and programs interacting with the database on the server side. Programs that add, restrict, edit or remove data without the creator intervention. This is important, without the creator intervention. These web pages may change on the fly based on the user action or his computer information. For example, the page may contain the current date and time at which you are viewing the web page or the website can display your profile information every time you log into it. This is a similar diagram to the previous one. However, this illustrates requesting a dynamic web page. We have the same process at first, the user entered the URL and the request is sent. But the web web page is not already created. Here, the user is asking for a web page that doesn't exist physically on the server, but the information that will be displayed in it are there in the database. So here, the server asks for those specific information from the database and then the PHP script takes care of it and converts it to a web page. Finally, the web page is sent back to the end user via a response message. Now, let's talk about web applications. A web application is a software program that exists on the server and runs using a web browser through a web page. The application is similar to desktop application. It is created using a combination of programming languages and web application frameworks. It may use RAM and allow user interactivity and it is designed for many uses. 
For example, Google Mail is an application, online auctions, Facebook, YouTube, online video editing, online spreadsheet, etc. Here is an explaining diagram. It is very similar to dynamic web pages request. But in fact, there are complicated things out there that we will be tackling in other videos. A way to distinguish between web applications and dynamic websites is that web applications are based on user engagement and almost all their content is from the end user. And also, web applications are similar to desktop applications and they are more complicated and need more skills than websites do. While dynamic websites allow the user to interact and add content, but the creator content is the dominant. And of course, they are less complicated. So, to sum up, we've seen that web pages are single documents that may contain text, graphics, etc. and they are created using a markup language such as HTML. We go to a specific web page by entering its URL address in the web browser. Hypertext is a text document that contains links to other text documents. We've also seen that websites are a group of well-structured and interlinked web pages, and that we move from a page to another page using hyperlinks. Also, there is two types of websites, static and dynamic. Static websites are displayed to the end user every time, exactly as they are stored on the server. Dynamic websites, however, may contain content that is generated on the fly by server-side programs. We have also seen that web applications are server-side software program that is delivered over the internet through a browser interface. They are similar to desktop applications that are complicated and are based on user engagement. So yeah, I hope you found this useful and you've learned something. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Till the next video, stay tuned.